The Legend of Lo Shu. It must have been an incredibly exciting and unexpected find that day, some 4,000 years ago. Once, Wu of Xia was working on the Hong Ho River. He was trying to find a way to prevent the flooding that frequently devastated the communities sited along the lower and middle streams of the river. In the course of this week, Wu found a tortoise shell. It was a highly auspicious omen, as the people of this time believed the god lived inside tortoise and turtle shells. Wu and his colleagues discovered that the tortoise shell contained a perfect 3x3 three three magic square on its back. This square is known as the Lo Shu Grid. Hi guys, I am Kuya Joven and now let's talk about the definition of magic square. In magic square, we mean a square divided by n squared in which numbers from 1 to n squared are put in a cell in such a manner that all numbers in the column, row, and diagonal are identical. In order to find the common sum of the column, row, diagonal of a magic square with n squared cells, we have this formula n times the quantity of n squared plus 1 all over 2. Let's have an example. For example, in a 3x3 three three magic square, let's find its common sum using the formula n times the quantity of n squared plus 1 all over 2. So our n is equal to 3. So 3 times 3 squared plus 1 all over 2. That is equal to 3 times 3 squared is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 all over 2 3 times 10 is equal to 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15 therefore our common sum in a 3 by 3 magic square is equal to 15 now there are two types of magic square namely Add order and even order. Add order can be classified or expressed as 2m plus 1, where m is a counting number, such as 3, 5, and 7, and so on. Then, in even order, it could be classified further as singly even and doubly even. Singly even, even can be expressed as 2 times 2m plus 1, where m is a counting number, such as um, the 6, 10, and 14. In doubly event, it could be expressed as 4M, where M is a counting number such as 4, 8, 12, and so on. Let's talk about the add order magic square. And the add order magic square could be expressed as 2M plus 1, where M is a counting number. Now let's let as M is equal to 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, we have the first add order magic square, which is the 3 by 3 magic square. Now, we have created the 3 by 3 magic square. So, we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 cells, all in all. So, in order to create a 3 by 3 magic square, we will use the Lovely method. So, are you familiar with that? I guess you're not. So, let's talk about the method of the logo. So first, you have to put number 1 on the middle cell. So it could be here, 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 and here. So let's start at this upper, upper cell. So you have to put 1. All you have to do is to move up, then move to the right. So let's follow that formula or pattern. So we have move up, we have here, then to the right, we have so that's right, 2. Then again, move up, move to the right, we have 3. Move up, move to the right. Since we have number 1 already, let's go back to the number 3 and move down. So we have 4. 
Again, move up, move to the right. That is five. Move up, move to the right. That is number six. Then we have move up, move to the right. Since we have number four already in this cell, let's go back to the number six and move down. So we have number seven. Move up, move to the right. We have number eight. Then move up, move to the right. And now we have completed the 3x3 three three magic square. So this time let's talk about the singly even order magic square. So its general formula is 2 times 2m plus 1, where m is the counting number. So let's try, um, let's uh, assume that m is equal to 1. So if we're going to substitute m here, so there it would result to 6. So it would result to 6. So therefore, 6 is the first singly even order magic square. So the famous method in creating a singly even order magic square is the Lux method. Okay. The L, U, X method. So this Lux method was invented by J. A. J. H. Conway. So um, this um, three letters here corresponds to a pattern and each pattern corresponds to a formula. So the pattern for L is this one. And for U, this one. And for X, this one. And the formula in getting the, um, the formula in getting R L is M, M plus 1. And for our U, it is constantly equal to 1. And for our X, it is equal to M minus 1. So, so this is the Lux method. So let's try this 6 by 6 uh, singly even, singly even um, magic square. So let's try this 6x6 six six matrix. So the general formula of singly even order magic square is 4m plus 1. So let's assume or let's, uh, let us let m um, equal to 1. So if we're going to substitute it here in this formula, so it would come up into uh, this number 6. So 6. And we have also this um, lax formulas. Uh, L, the formula of L is m plus 1. Our u is equal to 1. Our x is equal to m minus 1. So if we're going to substitute it m or m here, so the, the not, this would result two. Our l is equal to one plus one is equal to two. Our u is um, constantly equal to one, and our x is equal to one minus one, which is zero. So we have here this um, six by six matrix. So um, the first uh, procedure um, we're going to do is to make this. Um, singly even order magic square into an odd order magic square how so we will just simply divide this six into two so six divided by two which is equal to three so let's make this six by six matrix into a three by three matrix how so we'll just simply divide it like this all right so we already divided i uh, will we already make it into a three by three matrix so um, this L here um, sig um, signifies the number of rows we're going to we're, we're going to have this you know, pattern which is L. So if our L is two, so these two first two um, first two rows um, will use the L pattern. So let's mark this L L L L L and L. So this U here, which is a U pattern, will occupy this this row because uh, we come up with one, right? So it will occupy this one row. So let's mark it. So this will follow, uh, this will follow the U pattern, U and U. So there is a condition in this method, the Lux method. So the middle cell of the last. Um, row of the L pattern will be swapped to the middle cell of the U pattern. So these are the two middles, right? So so this is the middle of the L pattern, last row of the L pattern, and this is the middle cell of the U pattern. So let us swap these two. So it will become, this L will become U. And this U will become L. So this is our final um, patterns of the 
creating a singly even order magic square. So I know that you are familiar with the Lalobre method, right? So so it is the method in creating the add order magic square. So since um, this six by six matrix um, become became a three by three matrix, so let's follow the Lalobre method. So let's start with this middle cell here. So its pattern is L. So we'll know that the pattern of L, the movement of pattern L is this one. Right? So let's start putting our first number, num our num first number which is one here. So this would this would so this so our one would be here. So our two would be here and our three would be here and our four here. So so just the same as the Lalobre method, so we will move up upward once and move right to right to the right once so if we're going to move this cell upward so and to the right so here so this would be the next cell we're going to um, fill in so the, the pattern here is u so our number five would be put here our number six would be here number seven would be here and number eight would be here next up and to the right so here so this would be the next cell so its pattern is L. So the last number is 8. So our 9 will be here. 10, 11, and 12. So up, right. So let's fill in this um, this cell. So its pattern is U. So our last number is 12. So 13, 14, 15, and 16. Up, right. So its pattern is U. So 17, 18, 19, and 20. Up, right. So 20. 21, 22, 23, and 24. So up, right. So here, let's um, fill in this cell. So 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So 28. So up, right. So here. So 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So up and right. 32, 33. 34 and 35 and 36 you need to know that this is um, a magic square a singly even order magic square just simply add each each row the columns I mean and each rows and each two diagonals so if there exists a magic constant so therefore this uh, matrix is a singly even order magic square